sight to gladden the hearts of all beekeepers is a trailer of honey-laden supers on its way to the honey house, where the supers are stacked, ready to have the honey extracted. Meanwhile, the welfare of the bees must be attended to. This is a bucket feeder, which is filled with sugar syrup. The airtight cover is firmly replaced and the bucket is inverted to create a vacuum which prevents the syrup from spilling. When placed over the hole in the crown board, the bees can suck the syrup through the small holes on the cover of the feeder. This is a miller or ashfort feeder. The bees enter the feeder through the opening underneath and the syrup reaches the bees through the inner slots. Smaller sizes are also available. This is a frame feeder, which can be placed among the bar frames in the brew chamber or nuke. It is totally enclosed and is ideal for the feeding of a weak colony. Back in the honey house, the extraction of the honey from the honeycombs begins. The wax cappings are first removed and are held in the uncapping tray underneath. Here we see an electrically operated honey extractor. Hand operated models are also available. The bar frames are fitted into the extractor. This model takes a total of 10 frames. As the extractor rotates, the honey is drawn from the combs by centrifugal force. The honey is then released through a tap. It passes through a strainer into a suitable container. The container also has a tap fitted. These cappings will be melted down later to form a cake of beeswax.
for any honey which has adhered to the cappings falls through a wire mesh strainer in the uncapping tray. It then drains into a small container. When the honey has been extracted, the frames are removed and returned to the empty super. The supers are stacked in the honey house to be used again in the next honey season. As a protection against wax moths, the supers are sprinkled with PDB crystals. As a further protection, the supers are separated with a good quality newspaper. A hoist is used to lift the full containers. and the beekeeper now has the pleasant task of filling the jars with his own pure Irish honey. The labelling of the jars brings the work of the beekeeper to an end. And the honey is ready now for your breakfast table.